In this tutorial, we will go over the new skill tree added in the May 2017 patch. This will include accessing the tree, purchasing skill points, and applying them to your mech. The new skill tree is an update of the previous system that changes out the predetermined upgrade path of Basic, Elite, and Master with 273 nodes containing different mech buffs, of which you can equip up to 91 of these nodes at any one time. These nodes are structured into seven different trees that represent the major buff categories of Firepower, Survival, Mobility, Jump Jets, Operations, Sensors, and Auxiliary. Firepower contains various buffs to weapon systems. Survival increases your mech's durability. Mobility boosts your mech's agility and top speed. Jump Jets, as the name implies, improves the effectiveness of jump jets equipped on your mech. Operations contains chassis utility skills such as increased heat dissipation. Sensors contains information warfare boosts such as seismic and radar deprivation. And finally, Auxiliary contains boosts to consumables. Each of these trees are set up in a hex hierarchy, with a single node at the top that leads to lower nodes connected by lines. In order to acquire a node lower down on the tree, an unbroken descending line from the first node must be present. If any node along that line is removed, all nodes lower than it will also be removed. This allows for specific powerful buffs to be positioned in a way that requires significant investment into a tree. In order to achieve the buffs you want, you must strategically plan out your node paths through the various trees. Before we talk on how to use this system, we must first touch on the refunds that were given to existing players who utilized the previous skill system. If you were playing the game before December 3rd, 2016, and had purchased modules under the old system, you should have global skill points available. These are skill points that can be used on any mech of your choosing, and simply require you to transfer them using the transfer interface. Also, if you are playing the game before the May 2017 patch, and had used the old skill tree system on a mech, that particular variant will have historical skill points that represent your previous mastery progress. These points can be transferred to any copies of that particular variant that you own and were increased based on how many copies of that variant you had. For example, if you previously owned a single copy of one variant that was mastered, you will get 91 points for that variant. However, if you had multiple copies of a single variant, the amount of points returned was increased by how many you owned. Taking our previous example, if we instead owned two copies of that particular mastered variant, we would get 91 times 2, or 182 points, to distribute between the two copies as we please using the transfer interface. Similarly, any mech experience that was gained before the skill tree was implemented is now available as historical experience on that variant and can be transferred to any copies of that variant just like the previously described historical skill points. Now that we have an overview of the skill tree system and the refunds that occurred, let's talk about how we purchase and equip nodes for our mech. A skill point can be acquired from three different sources. Global skill points and historical skill points as outlined prior and purchasing a new skill point using C-Bills and Experience. These points cost 45,000 C-Bills and 800 Experience each and can be paid for using either mech-specific experience or global experience. Once purchased, you simply need to navigate through the skill tree by clicking and dragging to the particular node that you want to unlock and click on it. When looking at an individual node, it can be in one of three different states. Locked, inactive, and equipped. A locked node is one that has not had a skill point applied to it and is not currently in use by the mech. This is represented by a darkened hex with an orange lock at the top. An inactive node is one that has had a skill point applied to it but is not currently in use by the mech. This is represented by a darkened hex with a bright colored outline. And finally, an equipped node is one that has had a skill point applied to it and is also currently in use by the mech. This is represented by a bright colored hex. That node must either be the first of a tree, or have an equipped parent node, an activated node above it in the hex hierarchy with a connecting line. Continue clicking down the tree as far as you wish, following the connecting lines. If you have enough available skill points to save your current skill tree configuration, the Apply Changes button on the right will be lit up and active. If you take more nodes than you have available points, or take more than the maximum of 91, it will be grayed out and inactive. Pressing the Apply Changes button will spend available skill points to unlock the selected nodes and apply those buffs to your mech. If you wish to change your mech skills at a future date, you can unequip and re-equip nodes at any time. However, this does come with a small cost. While you do not need to repurchase an already unlocked node with new skill points, 
it does cost 400 experience to re-equip a previously unequipped node. This can be paid for with either mech-specific experience or global experience. Now that you have the information required to use the new system, get out there and buff your mech to match your playstyle. Look for a future guide going over example skill tree layouts and methods to get the most out of your skill tree. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and good hunting!